What's going on guys and welcome to the series that's going to take 50 videos to, for completion. This is Web Dev Journey and in today's video we're going to be setting up our application. Now I do want, I'm not going to walk you through the setup uh, entirely. Um, the reason I say this is because we're going to be using Vue. We're going to be using Vue CLI to create our application. You know, just like we use React, you know, create React app to create the React application. We're going to be using Vue's uh, uh, CLI to create our Vue application. Now, the reason why I'm using Vue, don't get me wrong, I do like React, but I also do like Vue. <laughs> I had nothing to do with the reason why. The reason why we're using Vue is because um, I found a module, a package that is very easy to do video streaming. And that's called Vue-WebRTC. I will have a description on, in, in the description down below. I will have that package. Package? I don't know why I said that. I will have that NPM package down so that way you can check it out. But it's what, what I thought is very easy to use. Now, there are some, you know, modules in React that you can use for WebRTC, but it's kind of tedious to get around with. It's, it's, it's tedious to work with, right? This one isn't really that tedious. It's actually pretty much straightforward. Like I said, you can check out the docs down below. Also, I will have the um, this uh, URL down below, so that way you could install the Vue CLI. If you do wish to follow with Vue, you can install this on your computer. All right, so enough about this. Let's just start, you know, start setting up our project for failure. Uh, the work, the way we're going to do this is just literally view, create, and then just name your application. In this case, we're going to call it video uh, dash chat dash app. That's what I'm going to call mine. You could do whatever you want. And for me, it's video dot CMD, which I really do hate. And then this is going to take us through a process of configurations. You could go with the default, which is just Babel and ESLint, but I'm going to actually go with manually selecting my features. Now we are going to be using Babel, we are going to be using router, and we're also going to be using a CSS preprocessors. I'm going to get rid of linter and formatter because I don't want to deal with that right now. You can if you want to, if you do have a specific lint that, or a specific configuration for lint and a specific configuration for formatting things, you could go ahead and do that. But I'm not. I'm going to hit enter right here. Now do I want to use history mode for router? I do not. So I'm going to say no for this. I'm going to be using uh, SAS with Node SAS because I'm very I'm more familiar with this than with Dart SAS. You can use whatever you want, but this is the configuration that I'm doing. Now I'm going to put everything, the Babel, ESLint, whatever, I'm going to put everything in their dedicated config files. And do you want to save this preset? Basically, if you're going to create another view app, this preset can be saved so that way you don't have to go through this process again. But I don't want to, so I'm going to say no. I'm not going to save the preset. And there you go. We're installing our view, or it's actually giving us a structure, a view application. This is going to take a while, so I'll be back when this is done. Already done. It is actually is done now. I don't know why I said it that way, but <laughs> it's done. Now, before we actually get inside and start and start, uh, you know, modifying the application, uh, I do want to install all the packages that we're going to be needing for this uh, series. I don't want to, you know, install packages later on down the road. So we're going to install all the packages right here and right now. So the first one is going to be npm i uh, view dash web rtc. Okay. This is the very first one and we're actually going to need it as a dependency. Now the other one, it's a very long uh, list. Um, and I will explain why I'm using these. So I'm going to hit enter right here. All right. As you can see, we're using font awesome for this. And I decided to include all the font awesome, the, all the free ones that are free, uh, right here. Um, we don't actually need this. I don't even know. Oh no. Okay. Home. We don't need this react font awesome. I don't know why I have that here. We don't need this one, but I included all the free ones that font awesome gives. Fun awesome SVG core, you know, free regular, free solid, the free brands. And then we're also going to be using Bootstrap because I don't want to deal with the CSS that much. We're going to be using Firebase. We're going to be using jQuery and popper.js. Now, jQuery and popper.js, Bootstrap does use them, you know, for its functionality. So that's why we're just including them. But um, yeah, we're going to be using these and hit enter. Now, this is going to take a while. So I'll be back when this is done. Okay, it didn't take that long, but it took 
It took a while. So I'm gonna just enter code dot so that way I open this in my text editor, Visual Studio. So why I'm like, why did I enter in my main I don't want that, so I'm gonna actually I forgot to go to video dash chat app and then do the code dot so that way it opens it up there. There we go. And now if you go to package.json, you should see all of our things that we have in here. Did I? <gasps> Dude, we did something wrong. You are an idiot. <laughs> I did. We, we installed all these things in my main directory, which sucks. Now I got to install them again. So I'll be back once I make sure guys to CD into video chat app. And then install those dependencies. Dude, this is a silly mistake. I'm pretty sure it's not just me. I swear to God, if you say it's just me, it's near stupid. It's not. It's not. So I'll be back when all this is done, all right? If you didn't catch that, that just means that you're along with me and you're just as dumb as I am. So uh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if you're going to judge, judge yourself first and then go ahead if you really do feel like it. Uh, judge me, I guess. All right. Now, anyways, if you go in here, okay, here's all the stuff that we need. Awesome. All right. So I'm not going to like, like I said in the beginning, I'm not going to go over the structure that view gives us because it's pretty much the same as react. There are minor differences, but it's pretty much the same. We have our components. We have our router. We have our views. It's pretty much the same, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually in app view, I'm gonna get rid of the styles. I don't want to mess with the styles, like I said, and we're gonna just be entering the bootstrap style. So we're gonna do at import. We're gonna do node underscore mod jewels slash boot strap slash cs oops slash cs scss slash boot strap 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 now the only reason we could do it this way the at import and uh this way is it's because we've installed node sas remember that that's so that's why we're able to install or get in that bootstrap matter of fact let's actually run this so npm run serve let's get this going um let's go back in here now the other thing that i want to do is get rid of this div not get rid of it but move it to a to the components file so what i'm gonna do is grab this the div nav uh cut that out go to the components i'm gonna create a new new file called navigation dot view and in here with view with view you do have to have a template so template there you go and then you put everything inside this template which is that nav that's 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 all we wanted right and i'm gonna change this to log in and over here log in control save this and then control save this and i'm not gonna go to the browser because i know something's gonna break something's breaking right now i'm pretty sure but let's try to include this navigation again into the app view now like i said the view structure how they have this set out you can put the styles in a folder a specific folder but they have it within this within this uh file with the app view right everything dealing with the app view is going to be in here the styles the javascript the scripts i mean and the templates anything dealing with this anything dealing with the navigation is going to be in here the template the styles if you wanted to right the styles the uh scripts and all that everything they have it in the specific file they don't create a new folders for styles and all that stuff they just put it right in here which is fine right it's not that big of a deal so in here we do need to create a script tag the only reason is because we're going to be needing to import this new component that we made right the navigation right so over here on top on, on top of export you're going to say um what is it import <laughs> import navigation navigation uh from at for slash components components slash navigation all right there we go now you might be wondering what is this at what is this referring to this is referring to the source folder okay and you'll see that, well, actually, let's go to it right now. If you go to, where is it at? Views, home view. It tells it right here, at, oops, 
it says right here at is an alias to that slash forward slash source okay that is it so that's why we're using at there we go and then we do need to tell view hey we do have a new component and we're going to be using this component and that component is the navigation the one we just imported now we could use it over here navig navigation there we go control save this if we go over to the browser it should be running um so it's in localhost 8080 there we go we have the home and the login which is good this changed right this change we change these things we don't have any errors so that's really good so now let's go back over here we're going to change some other things as well and we're not going to need hello world view get rid of this yes delete permit permanently in the views let's rename this to login log oops log login and the login is going to be this is the login page copy this save it because we're going to just paste this in the home page this is the home page control save this now since we did include this login file in our router we do need to change this as well because they're using the about which we're not really using so we're going to include that login uh, page that we created control D login right there get rid of this copy this because we're going to be using it anyways and then the path is going to be log in the name of this is going to be log in and then the component is going to be the login component the one we just imported so control save this everything should be you know good so if we go back to our yes our application we're going to see that home page and then the login page home login home login and that's pretty much it for this video guys like i said all i want to do is set up our application our very basic structure application skeleton whatever you want to call it that's what i wanted to do all right and that's what we've done and now you gotta you got a sense of like how view works right it is not that hard to work with it really is not don't worry the new Every time we add like a certain, you know, another little module or another little thing for view, we're going to be talking about it just a bit. So that way you understand what it does. All right. But that's it, guys, for this video. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, this is where we're actually going to start, you know, getting into Firebase with Firebase. Right. We're going to set up our Firebase um, application. And then we're going to log in users. We're going to make data available. Basically, it's just registration and authentication. That's basically it, right? So next video is going to be registration and authentication. So I hope you stay tuned for that. And I do want to mention thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I really do appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And selfless plug. Um, if you wish to support me, there's a Patreon page down below. Go hit that up. Uh, <laughs> but thank you guys anyways for watching my videos. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.